remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Fabulous asked his Twitter audience how many arguments a day are healthy for a relationship and was promptly dragged throughout the Twitter universe. They didn't appreciate the fact that he's still giving his woman a hard time. That's what they're saying. That's not what I said. Okay, how many arguments a day is healthy? He said, he asked the question, he said, is, is one argument a day healthy? What do y'all think? One argument a day? Two? Three? One argument a month? A week? What do you think? Here's what I think. I think that one argument a month is too much. Hey, man, either we are clicking or we are not. Because one argument a month could be enough to make a person not want to be around a person. That's too much argument for me. I don't want to be in a romantic relationship and argue once a month. I don't want to be in any type of relationship and argue once a month. Once a week, once a day, oh, no, absolutely not. We're just not going to make it. Perhaps we can be friends. Maybe the strain of a romantic relationship is just too much. Seeing each other every day, maybe that's just too much. You got to be willing to accept that. I couldn't accept that early on in life. I do now. When you're young, you think, well, you know, you got to fight. You're supposed to work on things, huh? I don't believe in working on a relationship. I just don't. I believe in investing in a relationship. I don't believe in working on a relationship because I already have a job. And you know, if you have a job, you know, I don't care how much you like your job. Sometimes you don't feel like going to work. So if I got to work every day on anything, uh-uh. I don't want to work every day. I don't even want to work on being a great person every day. Sometimes I just want to take a day off and just relax, do nothing. Just lay up and just do nothing. I want to have those days. I think I deserve to have a day like that every now and then. Now, I'm not saying that I don't think relationships are worth investing in. I'm just saying I don't think that relationships are worth jumping through hoops for. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to argue and stress myself out. Perhaps we just don't work together. We just don't click. We don't vibe. And that's fine with me. I had a situation in my home once where I had a young lady in my house. She walked in the door, like, and she had it on her mind. We had never had an argument. We had been cool for like maybe a couple of years. And she had it on her mind on this particular day. And like two or three times, I try to, uh, you know, get you know get it out of her. Like, what's going on? You won't talk to me. But she just was, had a chip on her shoulder on this particular day. So I just grabbed the purse and started, you know, walking down the stairs. And she's like, "Are you putting me out? Are you putting me out? Because we're because we're having disagreement. We're having a disagreement." I said, "No, no, no, no. It's not a disagreement. You want to argue." And I don't do arguments in my house. I just don't. My house is very peaceful. Uh, if you come into my house, you're welcome. You are protected. 
you're safe. I want to feel safe in my own home too. I don't want to feel like I need to hurt somebody in my own house. I don't want to feel like somebody might hurt me in my own house. So I don't do drama, period. I don't do none of that. Uh, if my brother, my sister, my friend come in my house, no arguing, period. It's all love. It's all peace in my house. That will be peace. I don't know what you won't do in your house, but as for me and mine, that will be peace, man. I catch enough hell on the streets. I catch enough hell uh, going out to uh, to to do a show or going to the airport. All the stuff they send you through to go to the airport, just screening and stuff like that. Everybody got an attitude and all that stuff. People cutting you off on on the streets now. Oh man, I don't want to come home to that stuff. I need. Peace, when I walk into my house, my house is my sanctuary. I need peace. And if I got a woman there, I need some tender loving and care. And peace. So my answer is once a day arguing, that's way too damn much. Now, if you can do it, that's on you. And I know some people do it. Once a week. If you can do it, that's on you. If you can do it once a month, that's on you. I can't do it. I think an argument once, maybe every other year or something. I'm serious. I know y'all tripping, but I'm serious. I have a best friend, and I know it's different, but I also know best friends that argue all the time. So, But my best friend, the last time we argued, we were, we, in fact, it wasn't even hard. It was a disagreement. We fell out a little bit, a few months. We were 20 years old. I'm talking decades. None of that. Because you know why? Because the foundation of any relationship is respect. And we respect each other. So when you... Some of us respect our friends more than we respect the people that we laid next to. And to me, that's kind of twisted because the person that you're laying next to, you're at your most vulnerable state when you sleep. So that should really be the person that you have this great, tremendous relationship with. Uh, so I know people that have a better relationship with their best friends than they do with the person that they actually sleep with, that they so-called building their future with. That is totally backwards to me. So if I can't have a best friend and a lover, I don't want it. I just, I, it's, that's just the way it is for me. I got to have it. I got to have both of those. I got, she got to be my best friend and, and she got to be uh, my lover and my partner. But what say you? No more talk. What the haters talking about?